This is getting beyond a joke. Now, I've never seen this company act so fast to fix something that only benefited the users. For those of you that didn't know, um, the Ben Yedder SBC, the Play of the Month Ben Yedder SBC came out. Uh, it came out not too long ago. And the 86 rated squad, or as labeled the 86 rated squad, was unfortunately for EA uh, put as an 80 rated squad. Now, first of all, how a multi billion dollar company can make a mistake like this, I don't know. How you don't have people constantly checking, proofreading, um, and making sure everything's correct, I don't know. I think that I see less typos on Twitter than I see mistakes from EA at these points. Like, it's ridiculous at this point how many mistakes this company continues to make. They have infinite resources. They have infinite funds. They have the ability to hire as many people as they possibly need to make sure mistakes like this don't happen. And they still make mistakes like this weekly. And it's an absolute joke. We're in 2020 now and they still make mistakes like this. But they made this mistake at 6 p.m. And by half six, the SBC was removed. And we get a lovely courtesy tweet from our friends at EA FIFA Direct who say, Hey folks, the League and Play of the Month SBC have incorrect requirements set, and we have taken it down. The SBC will return with the correct requirements at a later time. For those who have partially completed it, we're looking into it, and we'll post an update where we can. Basically, what's going to happen is, the people that partially completed the SBC will get their players back. The people that fully complete the SBC will keep the player for the cheaper price, and it will get re-released with no one having completed any part of the SBC uh, and the, the proper requirements. Essentially, what will happen is, instead of getting the uh, the 86-rated squad with an 80, this will now be an 86-rated squad, and the correct SBC will be re-released. -re if you partially completed any portion of it, you will get your players back, but you'll have to re-complete the SBC at your own convenience to get the player, to actually get Ben Yedda. That is a joke. That is an absolute joke, and I'm so sick of this company. I'm so sick of them completely. Like they, they shaft us. I'm, I'm so sick of this. Com like it's happening so much now. The joke about this, and the thing that I'm, I'm most angry about mainly, is the fact that they can't even leave, leave the SBC up to, to benefit some users. This SBC was priced, I think, at around 520k. That's including the 80 rated squad mess up. 520k. Now, that is that is with the 86-rated squad being 7,000 coins. Your standard 86-rated squad, I think, is around 100-something thousand coins right now. Uh, I think it's like 160k. So this will be a 600-plus-k card. It's not even the fact that I don't think this card is worth over 600k. It's the fact that it doesn't make a difference. This card is still not going to be available for most of the player base at 500,000 coins. Like it doesn't negatively impact you if you leave it at an 80 rated squad, but instead they have to rinse the coins out of us entirely. And I'm so sick of the way this company treats us. I'd never make videos like this where I just ran to EA, but I, like it's doing my head in now. It's it's so it, it feels so horrible to be a consumer of this game and and to be treated in this manner. Any glitch that negatively impacts us goes days without being sorted out. Do you remember our player picks that were broken? It took two and a half to three days to get our player picks back. Player picks that we earned via the weekend league that should never have even been broken in the first place. How they somehow messed up a reward system that's been in place for the last three years, I don't know, but they somehow did, and it took them nearly three days to give us our player picks back. How? We know EA have the resources to give us our player picks back the same day, We've seen it because any other glitch they have, they they patch instantly if it benefits us. And it's becoming to a point now where it feels like this company are deliberately trying to ruin our experience. I don't understand the marketing behind that, but that's what it appears to be. If you guys didn't know, uh, the second set of icon swaps that came out a couple of weeks ago, on the Friday for about two hours, um, you could complete all of the icon swap objectives via friendly modes. So if you went into the friendly game mode, or whether you're against your friend or against the, the people online and online friendlies, um, you could complete the ob icon objectives really quickly. Um, EA patched that pretty much instantly. It took them an hour or two to get that patched and they patched that pretty much instantly. They, I would bet invested all of their resources on that Friday into patching that. We've had button delay for years. We have incredibly awful servers in this game. The The overall gameplay is atrocious. They've been promising us that we're, we're going to get more servers in the game and haven't seen anything like that. We get placebo patches every couple of months if they feel like it. We get a cool little write-up from one of the EA guys like, hey, we see, we hear you. Haha. <laughs> Here is a, a patch note that means absolutely nothing. And they don't continue to actually patch the game. They just give us patch notes that mean nothing. 
and I'm so sick of it because realistically, nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to change. And I understand that, you know, you could argue we could boycott FIFA points or we could boycott, we could boycott the game in general. And unfortunately, that won't make a difference in the way that EA sets up. Uh, what I, what it looks like this year is that it looks like this year is the biggest money rinse I've ever seen uh, because they're probably expecting to have loot boxes or, or, or packs shut down probably indefinitely in the next couple of years. So I'm guessing that they're, they're probably on their last ditch effort to make as much money as they possibly can from this cash cow of a game uh, before they, they inevitably shut down FIFA points uh, and make it however they're going to make it i don't know i don't know how they're going to go for it but however they go for it in the end i'm not entirely sure um but i would guess that's probably what's going to happen and that's probably why they're going down this route i just wanted to make a video because i'm so i, I i'm genuinely angry by this and i don't typically get angry by fifa in this in this manner very often um because i you know i usually just like sort of look at that thing i think oh they're stupid i make a tweet about it and i move on but i'm so sick of the consumer being royally shafted by this company for, for no reason whatsoever. What do we do wrong as consumers to deserve this? We buy FIFA points, we buy packs, we buy the game, we play the game, we play their stupid game mode. We give them so many different numbers that they can take to companies as advertising bonuses. Like this company just by us playing can benefit massively from it. And, and they still continue to treat us like this. And who knows when we're going to get our players back. The worst part about this is that we probably won't get our players back for days. I guarantee the SBC will be back up tonight. I think we'll get the SBC up tonight with the correct requirements and our players will be returned to our accounts in the next three to five days, my guess is. Especially with it being the weekend, it might even be after the weekend. It's laughable. It's absolutely laughable. And they continue to do it. And they don't have any intention of stopping. How can they? Why would they? They still make the money. Why would they ever stop? I'm I'm I am beyond sick of it, to be honest. I'm I'm beyond sick of it. And I wanted to make a rant video. I, I never make these kind of videos. Literally never. I've I've always thought that, you know, this game has given me a platform and has given me a job. I should probably not post a video complaining about it. But when things like this happen, I just I'm so like angry by the way that they've treated it that I don't want to I, I I don't want to stay quiet about it. I want to I want to talk about it. I want to I want to make a video about it. I want to I want to get everything off my chest because this is this is just genuinely ridiculous. I've just seen that the account actually blocked Kurt. Kurt is actually blocked from viewing an official FIFA direct communication account. If that doesn't signify the children behind EA. I don't know what does. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't actively support Kurt and the endeavors that he makes. I think that he, you know, some of the things he says are unnecessary, but this is pathetic. How can a professional account like EA FIFA Direct, the communication account, block people? That is the most childish, immature thing I think I've ever seen in my entire life. That's absolutely pathetic. That just shows the, the, the level of company we're dealing with right here. Alexander, a pro player, went to the E-League uh, FIFA tournament and was given a biscuit that was three weeks out of date. I think you guys can't see. Let me let me hide my camera for a second. December twenty second, twenty nineteen. <laughs> the list goes on with the things that this company does. The mistakes this company's made. The fact that the the squad battles glitch is still a prevalent thing in the game. Now, don't get me wrong. I think we benefit from this squad battles glitch, but it just goes to the level of, of, do they even know how to fix it? You can still submit a UCL version and a normal version of a card via the web app if you go into an SBC. Um, the web app's been displaying the wrong skill moves for the last three weeks. The list goes on at the level of, of, of mistakes EA have made, not to mention this one's adding to the long list. I think there's hundreds of mistakes for FIFA 20 alone. And the fact that the only ones that ever get, the, the ones that go noticed, the ones that, that get fixed quickly are the ones that benefit us. I'm just angry. I'm angry and I wanted to make a rant video. Um, you know, I, I wanted to, to post my thoughts on it because I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of the game and I'm sick of the way that we're being treated. I genuinely enjoy FIFA. And that that is it's hard to come by, I feel like. There's not a whole lot of people that can that can sit there and say they enjoy FIFA. But I genuinely enjoy FIFA. I enjoy playing the game. I enjoy playing with my team. I enjoy grinding the menus. I enjoy it. But I don't I, I, I can't sit there and I can't be treated in the way that we're being treated. 
I don't like from someone that that comes from a business background, from someone that that studied business in school, from someone that whose 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 family come from business backgrounds. This is ludicrous. It's absolutely ludicrous, and I don't understand how we can ever do anything about it. That's the worst part. I honestly feel like I, I'll, I'll complain about it, and there's nothing going to happen about it because realistically, what can happen about it? EA aren't going to listen to my little voice. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just. I'm angry and I wanted to make a rant video. Apologies if this is not a video you want to see. Um, these are going to be few and far between. I don't think I'll ever make a video like this again. But I wanted to get some things off my chest because I'm just... I'm sick of being so angry at this company. I wanted to just... Just get it off my chest, to be honest. Because this is ridiculous. Um, I, I don't know what more I can say, really. What a stupid mistake and, and what a stupid, stupid resolution to the mistake that they've made. It's ridiculous, man.